Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 6. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to use an array model to find the unknown in a division problem. We are learning this so that we can be fluent with our multiplication and division because we will be using these math skills in real life situations throughout our lives. We will know that we are successful when we can draw an array to represent a division problem and solve for the unknown. What is an array? An array looks like this. It has rows that go from side to side, and it has columns that go from top to bottom or bottom to top. An array relates to a multiplication equation. The rows are the number of groups, so that would be the first factor. That would be the two. Two rows, the first factor is two. The second factor is a five, and that represents how many are in each group. So it actually equals the number of columns, one, two, three, four, five columns. So we can say that there are two rows of five in each row. And if we count all of the circles in our array, we should get our product, which is 10. So two times five equals 10. This array represents 20 children playing a game. The total number of dots equals how many children in all. The number of rows equals how many teams. The number of dots on each row represents how many children are on each team. We can make a division equation from this array by starting with how many children in all. It says right there, there are 20 children playing a game. We're going to divide it by the number of rows or the number of teams. And there are one, two, three, four teams. That is our divisor, four. The quotient is how many on each team. So there are one, two, three, four, five in each row. So that means there are five children on each team and that is our quotient. Let's take a look at the division equation by itself. 20 is the biggest number. We always start with the total. Four is the number of rows. That's how many parts we're dividing the 20 by. So 20 divided by four. The five is the number in each row. 20 divided by four equals five in each row. This relates to a multiplication equation. We can say that there are four rows or four groups. That would be the four is the first factor on the multiplication equation. The five relates to how many are in each group. So we said that there are four groups of five or four rows of five. The five is the second factor in the multiplication equation. And the 20 is the product. So four groups of five equals 20. And you notice that that largest number is the same as the largest number at the beginning of the division equation. Let's draw an array for 14, I'm sorry, 15 divided by three equals five, where the quotient is the size of the groups. How many in all? 15. How many rows? Three. How many in each row? Five. There are three rows of five. There are 15 in all.
Now write a multiplication equation for 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Think about how the division equation is related to the multiplication equation. First of all, the first number is 15. That's the total. In a multiplication equation, that would go at the end. That would be the product. The 3 is how many groups, right? So that would go at the beginning because we always say three groups of something. We always say groups of. That's the middle. The multiplication symbol could also be read as groups of. So that three is how many groups? Three groups of. There are five in each group. So the second factor is a five. And that's the quotient in the division equation. A multiplication equation would be 3 times 5 equals 15. So if I were to circle the groups, each group looks like this, right? And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in each group. Now let's count by threes to solve for the unknown in this multiplication equation. Something times three equals four. Are you ready? Let's go. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So as that relates to an array, there would be three in each group, because we're counting by threes, and we counted eight times to get to 24. So there should be eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. This is how you would represent eight times three equals 24. The unknown factor is the number of rows in the array. The number of rows is eight. So there are eight rows of three or eight groups of three equals 24. Relating this to a division equation, the eight is the number of rows. So that would be the first factor in the multiplication equation. And it would be the second number or the divisor in the division equation. The three is how many in each group or the number in each row. And we know that would be the quotient. So the three goes after the equal sign. And the total number is the product in the multiplication equation. And we know that the total number always goes first in the division equation. This is the dividend. Okay, let's try this out. We have our read, draw, write word problem. We often call this the RDW. Read it, draw it, and write it as a sentence. So we'll start by reading and annotating the word problem, pointing out the most important parts. Hector has 14 slices of bread to make sandwiches. Now I know whenever I see a number, I want to circle that number because it's important. He uses two slices of bread to make each sandwich. So I'm going to circle the two. How many sandwiches does he make? How many sandwiches? That's what I'm trying to answer. How many sandwiches? And when I get to writing my answer in words, I want to make sure that I use part of the question in the answer. So I'm going to just think about that right now. How many sandwiches does he make? How would I say that back to someone as an answer in real life? I would say Hector makes however many sandwiches. So that's going to be part of my answer. Draw an array and write a division equation to solve. 
So in step two, where it says draw a picture to help you solve the problem, I'm given a direction that I must draw an array and write a division equation. So I want to make sure that I have that in my answer as well. Okay, let's go to our Jamboard. So if you're at home or in your classroom and you have paper and pencil, you could be writing this out on your own while you watch me, or you could pause this and try it on your own first. But if you want, you can just watch me the first time and then there will be another redraw right question that you can do independently. So I have access to Google and if you have access to Google right now, you could open what we call a Jamboard. It looks like this. So I'll just show you what I did. I open a new tab, I open a web browser, and in the bar, I'm going to type Jamboard, J-A-M-B-O-A-R-D dot Google dot com. And if you want to do this, I'm going to leave this link in the box below so that you can try it yourself. So then I'm going to click the plus button for a new Jamboard. and select the tool. I'll go back to the question. It says, Hector has 14 slices of bread to make sandwiches. He uses two slices of bread to make each sandwich. How many sandwiches does he make? So I know the size of the group or how many in each group is two. I just don't know how many groups there are. So I'm gonna start by sketching out my multi or division equation first. So I'm starting with the biggest number, which is 14. And I don't know how many sandwiches we're making. So I don't know this divisor, but I do know that there are two slices in each sandwich. So that's the size of the group. And now I know that my array should have 14 sandwiches in it. And I know that there should be two sandwiches or two slices of bread on each sandwich. So I'm going to start drawing groups of two until I get to 14. So there's two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14. Let's try that. Let's try counting by twos just to make sure we have it right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yes. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven rows. So I know how many sandwiches were made. Now I can put that in the missing place, the unknown place. And I know that my divisor is seven. So here I have my array as called for in the read draw right question. And I have my division equation. Let's go back and make sure that we have everything now. Okay. I have my division equation and my array. So all that's left now is to answer the question, how many sandwiches does he make? So I'm getting out my sticky note tool and I can type Hector makes seven sandwiches. I counted by twos to 14 to get my answer and 14 divided by 7 equals I'm sorry divided by 2 or dividing it by yeah divided by 7 equals 2 okay so does that match my Array, array and my equation, 14 divided by seven equals two. All right, so I finished there. Now I'm gonna go back to my 
answer and see if I have the correct answer. Answer, Hector makes seven sandwiches because 14 divided by seven equals two. So that's about what I said on my Jamboard. And as long as you get a, approximately the same answer, that's fine. You will not write exactly the same words. Your sentence may be shorter, it may be longer, as long as you do the best that you can do. Okay, so next up is your assignment, which is to complete this read, draw, write question on your own using the strategies that you learned today. So what you'll do, after I'm done speaking, you'll pause this video on this frame so that you can read it as many times as you like. You can annotate it or pick out the most important information. You can draw it out and you can do that on pen and paper, pencil and paper. You can do it on a dry erase board or you can go to the Jamboard. Remember, I'll be leaving the link for, for a Jamboard in the description box. So if you have access to Google, you can do that yourself. Then you're gonna do your very best to answer on your own. When you're ready, Go back to the description box below and find the answer and compare it to your answer and see just how well you did. Okay, I'm going to read this for you. John folds 16 towels. He places an equal number of towels on two shelves. How many towels are on each shelf? Draw an array to solve. Then draw a division, write a division sentence to explain your answer. Okay, do your very best, then look for the answer in the description box below, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.